Ranger naturalist George D. Marler meticulously documented changes in hydrothermal activity in the geyser basins of Yellowstone National Park for more than three decades in the mid-20th century. His work was especially useful in understanding the significant changes in hydrothermal activity following the August 1959 M7.3 Hebgen Lake, Montana, earthquake. Marler, 1898-1978, was a ranger naturalist for more than four decades starting in 1931. He made long-lasting contributions to the understanding of hydrothermal activity in Yellowstone and published many of his detailed observations and interpretations in a series of seminal peer-reviewed journal papers. His publications mainly described and explained how hot springs in the geyser basins respond to earthquakes and climate. In a 1951 paper titled, Exchange of Function as a Cause of Geyser Irregularity, Wyoming, Marler documented geyser eruptions over more than 50 months of observations, including during Yellowstone's very cold winter months. He demonstrated that many geysers have irregular eruption patterns, which are reflected by changes in the time between successive eruptions. Based on these observations, he inferred that some geysers are connected in the subsurface with other nearby springs and geysers. For example, Marler suggested that in the upper geyser basin, Beauty, M and Chromatic Pools, which are located about 150 feet apart, and geysers and pools of the Daisy Group, Comet, Daisy and Splendid Geysers, and Bonita and Brilliant Pools, all within 150 feet of each other, are connected in the subsurface. He termed the shifting flow of groundwater between hot springs that causes the irregular patterns as exchange of function. In a 1954 paper titled, Does the Cold of Winter Affect the Thermal Intensity of the Hot Springs in Yellowstone Park, Wyoming? He examined the effects of extreme seasonal changes on geyser activity in the upper geyser basin and concluded that there are insignificant differences in the eruption patterns of geysers between winter and summer. A more recent study that relied on more frequent measurements of geyser eruptions than were available to Marler found small seasonal variations in eruption patterns of some geysers. <laughs>